My name is Lisa from the blog Farmhouse on Boom, and today I'm going to show you how to make fabric bunting. Now this bunting that I made is actually reversible, so I have linen stripes here on one side and watercolor florals on the other side. I will show you how to do it that way. Also I'm going to show you how I hang this in my girls room. begin this project by cutting out the pieces. So first I cut out my casing, which I made 106 inches long by 3 inches wide. You can actually make it as long or short as you want it to depending on which space you're decorating. Next I cut out my oval bunting pieces. So first I began by creating a template and then I used that template to cut out the rest of my bunting pieces. So for my project I cut 20 of two different kinds of fabrics, one for the front and one for the back. So it ended up being 20 bunting pieces in all along my 106 inches of casing. If you don't want to make your project reversible, you can just go ahead and cut it all from the same fabric. I wanted to make mine reversible, so I also cut 20 pieces from a coordinating floral fabric. it's time for the casing. So I'm going to take my long piece, which I'm going to be using for the casing, and press the outside edges inward with my iron. After those outside edges are all pressed inward, I'm going to fold my casing in half and press it shut. Next I'm going to take my bunting pieces and sew around the outside edges, leaving the top only sewing around the curve, right sides together. I am putting one of each fabric in each bunting piece so that when I turn it out it will be a different color on each side. And remember, I'm doing 20 sets because I wanted to make a pretty long bunting, but you can do it as long or short as you want to. After your bunting pieces are all sewn together, turn them right side out and press the seams flat. Next, do a top stitch close to the original seam around each of the bunting pieces. The purpose of this top stitch is to make the seams lay even flatter. Now comes the fun part. We're going to sew all those bunting pieces inside the casing that we made. I spaced each of my bunting pieces apart about one half of an inch inside my casing.
bunting pieces all sewn in, be sure to finish off the ends of the casing by folding them inward and then sewing in place so that the raw edges are hidden inside. Thank you.